today the topic of discussion is nested query nested query is similarly as you have heard about nested loops in c language nested structures in c language it's simply simply like that so what nesting means is what suppose this circle is the inner query fine and this circle is the outer query fine okay so when this one is the outer query when outer query is depending on the result of inner query and after that outer query process on the basis of inner query result and gives the final output then this kind of query is called nested query now comes the question is there only two queries involved in nested query only inner and outer no there could be more than n number of queries in which the 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 most recent the most recent one will be called as outer query and all those which are coming inside uh, will be considered as inner query fine so uh, this is all about nested query fine so let's understand some questions so that we will able to understand what nested query is all about let's start with the question so here you have given a table that consider the table customer and purchase given below there is two tables one is customer and one is purchase is customer is having three columns that is customer id customer name and customer type purchase is having uh, five columns purchase id customer id product id quantity and amount fine okay you have given one query which is actually a nested query and then you, you have been asked with a question that what will be the output when the above query is executed and you have three options a b and c so by running this query you have to answer that which is the correct answer of this particular query when we solve this query what will be the exact answer so as i told you what is nested query let's understand nested query first fine okay so uh, if we talk about let's move further if we talk about uh, nested query we solve the inner query first we solve the inner query first inner query means one query which is in the bracket fine so our job is to execute inner query first and if we are solving any query then our execution follows first we check from then we check where after that after that if group by then group by if having then having and then select fine this is the you know, this is the pattern of execution this is the pattern of execution first we go to check first we go and check from then where then if there is group by having then select and even uh, before select there are some aggregate function if you have some aggregate function you check uh, after having you check aggregate function fine so this is the flow of execution which we have to follow it hardly matters that whether we are solving inner query or we are sol solving outer query the flow of execution will remain same fine so as it is the nested query we will solve the inner inner part first so which is the inner part this one this bracket part is the inner query fine so first we check from do we have from yes we have from fine so from yes do we have from so we are considering here purchase table so our point of consideration will be purchase fine then we'll go to where is there where yes we have where where so what we are doing actually we are considering purchase table and what conditions we are applying is that amount should be greater than 300 fine and quantity equal to 2 so we have two condition which needs to be followed and there is a and this means that these two condition to be true at same point of time fine what is and what is actually and and gate is what you get only true when the both the inputs are true if any of the input is false you get false fine this is and gate so let's start with the uh, nested query one so I'll, I'll i'll just be starting with nested query okay so we are st starting with this inner part fine okay we check from yes we have we have already checked from yes from is there we checked from uh, then where amount is greater than 300 and quantity equal to 2 amount is greater than 300 fine and quantity is too fine we have selected this fine okay then amount is greater than what 300 no amount is not greater than 300 so i'll not check quantity fine so uh, uh, because and and in in and both the condition to be true amount is greater than 400 300 yes and quantity is is equal to two fine so we'll select this also fine okay amount is greater than 300 no amount is greater than 300 no amount is greater than 300 yes and quantity is equal to two yes we'll select this 
uh, row, this tuple will again check the last amount is greater than 300. Yes, quantity is equal to 2. Yes, we'll check, select this. So after executing what? After executing which part? After executing the part, the where part, we have selected four columns, four rows. I'm so sorry, four tuples, uh, this, 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 and this. Now you go to select part. Flow of execution says first from, then where, then select select what we have to select we have to select only customer id so from the selected tuples we will only consider what customer id so this one is one customer id this is the next customer id this is the next customer id we have selected and this is the next customer id so we have finally selected what we have finally selected four customer id fine now where we'll go we'll solve the outer part because inner part what i told you in nested query inner query gives the result and that result is used by outer query so let's see the outer query so if we are coming to outer query first we'll check from do we have from yes what which table we are considering customer so now our point of consideration will be customer fine then we check where where is what where where customer type is equal to privileged we should have customer type is equal to privilege and very important and customer id should be in this part and this part when we have solved this part what we have gained we have gained these four ids what are these four id c1076 c1074 c1085 c 1065 so this is the result of inner query so what we have to do is that we have to select only those rows where customer type is equal to privilege and customer id should be only this fine so let's check this is customer type privileged no first condition is false so we'll not select this is customer type privileged yes first condition is met now we check second customer id in this customer id what is customer id this 10 show 41074 should be here do we have 1074 yes so this is also selected so as per the condition since both the condition are true so we'll select this tuple customer id customer type is privileged no customer type is privileged yes and this 1056 is it's there. No, 1074 is there. 1074 is there. 1056 is not there. So this is not meeting the condition. So I'll not select this tuple. Now is customer type privilege? Yes. One condition is true. And customer ID in this 1055 is there in uh, this selected for customer ID? No. So I'll again not select this. I'll not select the entire. So only one row from customer is selected. Only one row from customer is selected. Fine only one row now what what is the point what now we'll go to the select part find and select what we are expecting only customer id and customer name so customer id is what so final result is customer id is 1074 and customer name is felix customer name is felix so our output is 1074 and felix so let's go back and check so what is the correct answer yes c is correct 1074 and felix so this is all about what nested query is okay hope you understood what nested query is all about so at last i'll say only one thing thank you so much